hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel so today we bring to you just on shea do and the main story behind the breakup of tony abraham and adeni johnson yes you guys might be like oh we've heard of it he cheated no he did not cheat this is it this is that well we shall find out as we bring to you this amazing gist recently shea do was asked why she has not changed her son name to johnson and she laughed about this i made this known to the members of the public that well it's not something that will be fast it might take a time but they are definitely working on it it's not a new thing in the industry for women who get married to their colleagues in the same industry not to change their son name to rather maintain their name from the onset the reason why this is so is because most of them already have that name as a signature name it's already a brand on its own and people already know them for that particular name and changing it over and over again makes and brings so much confusion to the members of the public well in a recent interview with city people magazine shay edun was asked at a movie premiere why she hasn't changed her name she said in her words and i quote i will we are working on that it will happen very soon honestly bearing my name doesn't change anything but i would still change to his name when the time comes you will also agree with me that changing of name is not something that is that easy here it requires putting many things in place it takes a long process end quote this was here yeah, don't let us know that we are in nigeria to change your name is not being so you have to swear with david print newspaper do this do that before you can be legally called that particular name mrs johnson when she was asked about the unique things that she likes about him she said i like basically everything about him i honestly don't want to talk about my husband here i feel everything about him should be private further explained in the interview that being in the limelight together with her husband is not something that is easy but they try to put everything in place so one would not affect the other she said in her words we both know how to put everything in place and one would not affect the other and that is why everything has been perfect for us i create time for everything i do and that has helped me great deal and nothing is lagging behind she went further into explaining that a production line her husband helps her with this and she makes sure to pay her husband even double money because after the fact that he is acting in the movie he also helps with the coordination and the welfare of the movies and other cast crew so therefore she has to pay twice and they don't mix business with pleasure there's this time for business there's a time for family there's a time for, to be husband and wife i pay him double when i feature him on my production that is because when i feature him on my movies he's not just going to be an actor on my set but also a coordinator he would be in charge of welfare and basically everything though we will have professionals on set but he would still assist them so you can imagine he's doing much and that requires big pay as well if i'm paying everybody working for me he has to be paid too to think that he is even working more and quote recalling that she had do as so many times been tagged as an husband snatcher as she was said to have snatched adeni johnson from tony aimako there had been so many times when adeni johnson had come out to let the world know that see i met my wife she had do separately outside the fact that probably she was a protege to tony abraham she was there with me at my lowest and when i needed her the most in fact when we started out we didn't plan to get married it just happened and this is called destiny according to adeni johnson he said that after himself and tony abraham parted with he had several other girlfriends and she had even usually follows him to this girlfriend's place but eventually this ex-girlfriend who used to live in ibado decided to part with and end the relationship based on the fact that she cannot deal with media views and the actor said that it's only ignorant people that will say that he cheated on his ex-wife that is Tony abraham also she had not cleared the air saying that she met adeni as a single man she said in her words and i quote well i never denied it we were friends at that particular moment as event unfolded our friendship grew to a greater point but now I can categorically say that we are all cool and happy together as a couple. Apparently, that is untrue. People say different things from afar, but the truth is sacred. I can count how many times I've set my eyes on them, that is Tony and Adeni, together as a couple or so. When I met Adeni, they were already separated. What is happening between Adeni and I is what I call destiny. Whatever story that has been sold out about me, that aspect, I know pretty soon God will vindicate me and 
and expose all truth this was yedu also claimed the year that i didn't cheat i didn't snatch we were not even in a relationship as at the time that adeni e. johnson was married to Tony abraham and adeni e. johnson also said i beg i didn't cheat on my wife but then people keep wondering so what brought up this whole thing recalling that in 2014 adeni e. johnson specifically by himself oh, attended a public apology to his then wife Tony Aimaku that he is sorry and everyone should please put the blame on him and not his wife that he was the one that was caught in the very act of flirting on his phone with another woman and later on when the whole thing was still buzzing between the two of them they decided to get back together attend their apologies to the public let everyone know that oh, they are fine and they are back together but where are they today they are both happily married to their various partners he said in his words and i quote to clear the air of re recent happening i adeni johnson is at fault and not my wife she reacted according to her pain and we all have different ways of reactions i beg everyone to please stop throwing banters and insults you can channel all anger and grievance towards me and not her instead of abuses i would rather beg you to join me in apologizing to my darling lovely and adorable wife Olutoyi. i am deeply sorry please i promise to make things right i don't want a broken home hashtag she caught me flirting at aimaku toyin end quote sometimes celebrities forget that the internet never forgets apparently tony aimaku was the one who people hold the insult as saying that hmm, they knew it that actresses they cannot stay in husband's house so they'll be moving from one place to the other not knowing that this is what happened between the two of them but then adeni johnson also kept debunking the fact that he didn't cheat on his wife he didn't cheat on his wife recalling that in 2015 he apologized to his wife saying that he is sorry for flirting with someone else and the two of them came back weeks after this public statement and they attended another statement to the members of the public saying and i quote with the heart of appreciation and sincerity we write there is no fire without smoke for every marriage and journey there are moments of storm that was our stormy and trying times the recent event obviously made us know how important our marriage is and a lot of lives and destinies are attached to ours we never knew the weight of our marriage carried until now we discovered a lot of destiny and glory hangs on our own may we not let god and you down to the bloggers who blog we appreciate you you might think you wrote a news but it turned out to restore our happiness and home back so to all the bloggers we say a very big thank you we've learned our lessons corrected our mistakes and choose to move on this event made us know who our friends are and well wishes are we are short of words and filled with gratitude first to our parents our spiritual parents adopted parents friends colleagues and fans omg our fans you guys are the best for your calls text messages mails ping whatsapp messages facebook comments and messages we love you all the bible says when we pass through the fire it soon burn us and through water it soon drown us and whenever we pass through storm it will not overpower us may god steal all storms in our lives and make everyone happy whatever you hear from us henceforth shall be good news we wish you all the best and love you all end quote this was the couple back then the johnsons admitting to the members of the public that they are back together they are good this that 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 but eventually we found out that these two when they are separate ways got married to their separate partners initially they were both hiding their separate partners but eventually alas they had to let it out and let the world know that we are going to separate ways oh and may the lord be with every one of us here well guys there you have it do not forget to like subscribe and drop your comment in the comment section below thank you bye